This is one of the biggest flexes ever. ASD Space Mobile, the company building the first and only space-based cellular broadband network, accessible directly by standard mobile phones, today announced that its Blue Walker 3 test satellite has been fully assembled and left its Midland, Texas headquarters and manufacturing facility. I imagine the CEO, Mr. Evelyn, looked something like this while giving the OK on that first line. And aside from that significant update on Blue Walker 3, we also have some financial results to talk about. So let's get into it with first a uh, Blue Walker 3 update. I am not going to bore you again with the context of this launch, since honestly I did such a phenomenal job of explaining said contact in this video already. So the link to that video I just so humbly praised can be found right here and down below in the description. Now the update. You see Blue Walk 3 has been fully assembled and has left its manufacturing facility. Over the next few weeks, Blue Walk 3 will be undergoing final environmental testing at an off-site facility in California, which will provide flight data to be used during the launch at Cape Canaveral. Previously, there were a few rumors going around that Blue Walk 3 would go straight from Texas to Cape Canaveral, which would have insinuated a sooner launch than the early to mid-September timeframe we're currently aiming for. But this news report has debunked that myth, and in fact, space mob legend Katze Apex has found a potential launch date in this filing, which would be September 5th. So before the potential launch date of September 15th, Blue Walker 3 will undergo more environmental testing in California. Keep in mind people, this launch date is flexible and is most likely subject to change. We are literally talking about rocket science, so plans can and most likely will change. And to be honest, a further potential one to two week delay on the launch of Blue Walker 3 wouldn't be the end of this world. Do not get me wrong, there aren't any official delays right now, but I just want you to be aware of the risk that sad delays might happen. And that was the update on Blue Walker 3. We are continuously inching closer to that awesome launch date, and that is super exciting. Blue Walker 3 will be a huge de-risking event, and until then, it will be a game of Raid Shadow Legends, the sponsor of this video. Sorry, that was a really bad joke. No ad sponsorship here, I wish. But until the Blue Walker 3 launch, and then the subsequent unfolding of the satellite, and then the subsequent testing in space, which could take months by the way, it will be a game of patience. So if you aren't down for this waiting game, months and months of uncertainty and testing of Blue Walker 3, fallout with even more uncertainty until bluebirds fill the skies, well, perhaps you should be looking elsewhere for your investment portfolio. However, there is still more to talk about, specifically a financial update. ASCS has granted us a quick look into the financial results of the second quarter of 2022. Most notably, the company was sitting on a cash position of $202 million on the 13th of June, which does not include the proceeds of the sale of their interest in Nano Avionics. And to be honest, I wasn't really aware of this transaction. You see, ASTS previously owned a 51% controlling interest in Nano Avionics, which is a company that produces nano satellites, and apparently ASTS has sold their stake somewhere in Q2 2022. On the 5th of June to be exact, for a Nano Avionics valuation of $68 million. ASTS gets 51% of that figure, which results in net proceeds of approximately $28 million for ASTS balance sheet. $28 million is a lot of money, and I am quite happy ASTS is looking at other ways to raise capital other than the classic dilution. Aside from that cash position, these other numbers are quite interesting as well. Thus far they've spent roughly $87 million on Blue Walker 3 and roughly $38 million in property, plant and equipment meant for these manufacturing facilities. But to me, most importantly, from Q1 to Q2, the company's cash position has decreased at a pace of $51 million. So effectively, the company has spent $51 million during this quarter, and at that pace, with a cash position of $202 million, 
they will run out of cash in just four quarters. That is something to be aware of. Where will ASTS acquire the funds required to roll out their full phase one operation? Well, ASTS has previously told us that they've entered into an agreement with B. Riley to sell up to $75 million worth of stock to said B. Riley whenever ASTS pleases. But that is just another $75 million. And with the $28 million from the sale of Nano Avionics, the company now has roughly $100 million extra to burn through, which is just two quarters of capital expenditures. Quick maths, the company most probably will need to acquire more capital. And how they're going to do so, that is what you and I should be looking out for. Hopefully it will be a good mix between that and dilution, because too much of either is a really bad thing. But a healthy mix between the two might be a really good thing for the future potential of ASTS. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick update on both the operational and the financial side of ASTS. If there's anything you want me to cover, perhaps a part of ASTS or another company in its entirety do let me know down below and with that said thank you so much for watching i love you all peace